Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, here to tell you to update your BIOS. If you're running an Intel 13th or 14th gen CPU, then you really need to update your BIOS. There have been loads of reports over the last few months with issues, with stability, and problems with Intel CPUs where they're degrading over time, there are issues with your games crashing, and potential blue screens of death, and other issues. Now, Intel's released a statement just recently detailing its in-depth tests on why this is happening, and it has found four different causes for this. And this is another update over the previous updates that have been happening over the last few months. So whether you've been following this news or not, you really need to update your BIOS or check to see if updates are available for your motherboard. And it's really important to do this because otherwise you're going to end up with a CPU that's not working properly, a PC that's crashing constantly, giving you blue screens of death, causing games to crash and other issues. There's thermal performance problems, CPUs running too hot, and various other issues. Now, you don't need to worry about the complexities of all the different details of it. The nice thing about it is the latest BIOS updates, generally speaking, roll out with Intel's default settings, which means all you've got to do is install the latest BIOS update, and then that will helpfully fix the problems and apply Intel's default settings. You can still go into the BIOS and if you know what you're doing, tweak things, but you shouldn't need to. And that's the nice thing about it. Now, a lot of people are scared of updating their BIOS. It can be intimidating. I've done some guides previously on BIOS updates for MSI, Gigabyte and Asus that I'll link to in the description. Various different motherboards, but the logic is generally the same. You just need to go to the relevant website. So make sure you know what your motherboard is the model of it, the revision number and such, head over to the relevant website, download the latest BIOS for your motherboard, and it's worth checking to see whether it has the right microcode, because there are microcode updates that are included. Previously it was X129, and now it's 0X12B, so there's going to be some new ones coming. You need to make sure that's included in there. Grab the latest version of that, extract the files somewhere. I usually find it's best to put them onto a USB thumb drive. Boot into your BIOS, find the tool that you'd use for updating your BIOS, and then go through that update process. The essential thing here is to have patience and to wait for the update to happen. Do not power off your PC or panic and try and restart at any point. Sometimes these BIOS updates can take ages to apply and it can be quite scary and you might think there's something wrong with your PC and you need to restart it. Don't do that because you can break your system. That's the intimidating part. But after that, you should find that it sets it to its default settings and then it will be optimized. It will have these improvements and you should find that hopefully your CPU should stay stable and you won't have any issues in the future. So this is a really important thing to do and get on top of it and do it as soon as possible. Check for updates and if you don't see those latest microcode updates that I mentioned, you might want to check back in a week or so or a month and make sure you stay on top of that. It's unfortunate we have to do this, but it is important to do. Now, if I've sent you here from another video and this has been helpful, then let me know in the comments down below. And if you find any of my content useful, please subscribe and press that like button and share this with other people that you know that have got Intel motherboards. We need to make sure everyone's CPU is staying stable. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.